Welcome back, everybody. We've got a special stream for you guys today. Very, very special. You're going to want to pay close attention to this one. We've got your two personal favorite people here, Dylan and Buck from Fame Fiat, the, the PH ecosystem, PHUX. And uh, you're going to want to pay attention because this is going to be the final, one of the final Infinity Stones in the entire Richard Hart ecosystem. Okay, this is their, what they're launching. I think it's tomorrow. I can't be sure about that. Uh, but they're launching one of the final pieces of the puzzle, which is leverage trading on Pulse Chain. Now, decentralized leverage trading, doing it the right way, real DeFi, freedom of speech, all that. And this is going to let not only people take a long position, and guys, you got to be responsible with all this stuff. A lot of you guys might not even want to use it in general. That's okay. You know, if this is triggering for you, if you don't like any of this stuff, feel free to click that little X button in the top right corner. You have total control of that, and believe it or not. And uh, but if you like this, I mean, this is also a way for uh, those haters out there. And if you're a hater watching, if you want us to fail and if you think this is really all going to the shitter, uh, you can short hacks on 30x leverage. Put your money where your mouth is, bros. Pulse chain hacks, all the coins in the ecosystem, the, even Pulse X, I believe you can short with 30x leverage. So please, please feel free to blow your account up. Um, I drink the tears of hex haters every day. So your your tears continue to sustain me through this bear market. So uh why don't we introduce you guys for people that don't know you uh let's start with uh dylan and then we'll go to buck okay yeah so um hello guys uh if you don't know who i am already uh you know i've been around the community since uh the beginning uh you know i found richard hart way back in the day um when he was uh, streaming and when he was a bitcoin maximalist right uh, uh i went into crypto around that time uh near the literal time the can you guys hear me still? Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah your mic's a little bit uh, odd for me. Is is that is that the case for you, uh, Coffee? Yeah. Hey, just for a second, I think you're back to normal though. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, I have mic issues. Don't know why. Um, but yeah. So uh, near the top of the market in 2017, uh, I didn't buy Bitcoin. I bought Ethereum first. Right. Um, rode that out throughout 2018. Consolidated into, into Bitcoin. Like what Richard was saying about uh, Bitcoin a lot um you know followed what he had to say about hex and was interested in that right um invested in hex day one right fomoed in uh like an idiot okay uh i'm proud to say that i fomoed in day one okay um bought throughout uh 2019 all that stuff and then i uh, love the community so much uh i uh i i pushed to be an admin in uh the hex trading chat which is no longer with us uh hex trading is no Sad. more guys uh <laughs> We're bringing it back, though. Yeah, I mean, it's a curse and blessing, you know, depending on how you want to look at it, right? Because it really it was a cesspool for a little while, you know, so. Um, but yeah, uh, and uh, now I'm here uh, talking about PH stuff with you guys, um, which is, uh, you know, some advanced financial products for tailor-made for Pulse Chain, right? Uh, for hexagons, built by and for hexagons, so. Um, it's very important yeah. to remember, guys. Built by hexagons for hexagons. This stuff, exactly. I mean, these guys are holding bags of the same stuff you are. So we're on the same team here. And, you know, no one's trying to go against. We're, we're all one big happy family. So let's hear from you, Buck, but the founder and CEO, CFA. <laughs> yeah. Um, so like Dylan, uh, I'm a hex uh, OG that was uh, there at the start. Uh, so I've been on the whole crazy ride. I, I'm also a finance uh, professional and investment professional. Um, <clears throat> about a year and a half ago, I, I recognized the need for certain DeFi primitives on Pulse Chain. I looked around and I realized that nobody was uh, really building them. Um, we had, uh, you know, liquid loans and NFT platforms, but uh, we didn't have borrowing and lending, uh, and we didn't have this, uh, which is a fork of GMX. Um, I knew that this was something that people were going to want. Uh, so we uh, we set about building it, uh, but we built a few other things. Uh, one of them is PHUX, uh, which is a free DEX that we're still giving away to the community. Um, and we still have lots more PHUX tokens to give away, I'll add. Um, and uh, that's the second biggest DEX on Pulse Chain. And I think probably the best DEX to go shopping for third party tokens, uh, arguably. Um, it's the best DEX for stable coins as well. Uh, we noticed uh, DO1, the much um, uh, controversial uh, uh, but uh, large wallet, was buying some fame token today, uh, and they were doing it on PulseX. Uh, DO1, if you're listening, the best liquidity, especially for someone like you, is going to be found on uh, phux.io uh, uh, for fame token. 
Um, so uh, yeah, we're um, we've basically launched two protocols already, and uh, we in the kind of past uh, couple months, and now we're about to launch our third today. Uh, so uh, we're we're very excited about it. Uh, I've been trading on it actually privately. Uh, everything's running really well. I think you guys are going to really like this. Um, it's you know kind of obvious product market fit. Uh, we're the only people that are able to bring an actual work, working solution for this type of thing currently. Uh, so you know we have no real competition. So it's uh, so it's going to be pretty exciting uh, to see. I, I think this this coin is uh, going to be one of the most valuable coins on Pulse Chain. Uh, is I mean I guess it already is, but uh, you know that, I think uh, it's it's going to have a bright future. Remind me again, was Edris Do one? Was he a, like a mega jeet or was he like God Whale type of guy? He was uh, he was somebody who I think did quite well in that he had the discipline to sell the top, um, wow. but he was he was quite hated at the time because he he took us all the way down from you know fifty cents basically all the way down. Um, but he's also stakes very long at times. Um, he's 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 shown that he's not a uh, you know like a complete uh, you know hater or anything like that. Um, but uh, but yeah, he's he's been a you know he's a whale i guess uh yeah um, he, he recently made the hex bottom too so he bought uh two million dollars with a hex uh a couple weeks ago so wow. yeah p hex cool guys so, so the same uh, guy that made the top uh might have made the bottom that's important <laughs> to pay attention to and you can find that on fatty.io whale watcher so that's actually the fourth uh product in the the suite of ph products for yeah. those that don't know that's where you just do all your coin tracking you can track your portfolio if you've got like five different addresses and it tracks more than just, you know, gopulse.com, for example. It can do, you know, your yield farms and all your different strategies with Hedron or Zen or whatever weird stuff you're into. Um, is that the is that kind of the is that kind of where you guys are gonna finish it off here? Or do you have any more plans for any other projects after this well, one? Well, yeah, we're we're pretty happy with the suite as it is. Um, yeah. yeah, we don't have any plans to do anything new uh, per se. There's a lot of stuff to kind of add on to each of the things. So now kind of, we need to go back and sort of make them all play together. Well, that's, that's the other thing. So, you know, one, one of the key things to understand about this and you'll, it'll start to become more obvious to you guys as you use the different protocols is that they're, that we designed them with the intention that you're going to use them together. Right. So, um, you know, you're going to potentially borrow on fiat deposit on PHUX, right. Uh, and earn a positive carry trade there. Or you know you may uh, provide PHLP on Fame and deposit it to PHUX, or you may end up depositing it to Fiat and earn yield that way. So like uh, the 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 three platforms are complementary, and Fatty's really there to help you keep track of all of them together, as well as everything else. Um, so uh, we haven't been able to work as much on Fatty the last two months as we would like, uh, just simply because we've been very busy launching uh, three protocols, uh, but. Uh, you know, that work is basically done now uh, for us. So it, uh, it means we're going to be able to start looking at other things um, in, the, in that in that uh, regard. So, yeah, we're uh, we're pretty excited about, um, you know, this, the, you know, kind of reaching today. This has been a lot of work for the boys. Um, they've, they've spent a lot of time, uh, a lot of late nights, a lot of time away from their family, families to get this stuff to you guys as, as safely as possible, as soon as possible. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're pretty excited. Yeah, I mean, congrats for finishing the the trifecta, the quad, yeah. the, the quadrangle. I don't know, but uh, congrats on all that because you can finally get a break, finally get some eight hours of rest, hopefully, and just celebrate and uh, pop some champagne and enjoy the you know the degeneracy that's about to unfold. So, yeah. uh, where do you want to go? Do you want to give them a like a, a taste of what it looks like or a taste, still? Yeah, let's let's take the tour, man. Uh, mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so let's uh, look on the screen right now, everybody. Live, I'm right? showing. All right. This is live, Dylan, right? Yeah, this is on mainnet. Yep. This is this is for everybody, right? Uh look, we can go here to dashboard. We can see the composition of the pools. Um, so to kind of start off, right? Uh, you know, obviously famous is a decentralized leverage trading DEX for pulse chain, right? Um uh, these are the tokens that you can trade on, right? So you can uh, you can go long with your pulse, you can go long pulse X, you can go long on hex, you can trade Bitcoin, wrap Bitcoin. I'm sorry, uh, wrapped Ethereum, right? Uh, and then you can use Dai USDC or USDT to to go short, right? 
Um, and uh, when we were talking earlier about PHLP, uh, that's basically the liquidity uh, token, um, a receipt for uh, the liquidity on Famous. Okay. Um, the unique thing about uh, Famous over GMX is the liquidity pool uh, is a actual token that you can send, you can receive it, uh, you can put it in liquidity pools uh, on PHUX. You can farm it that way. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to uh, deposit it on fiat one day uh, and borrow against it, um, whether or not to compound yield, um, to uh, you know increase you know your yield on PHUX, whatever it may be. Right? Um, those tools are at your disposal. Uh, at your disposal uh, for those uh, synergies. Right? Um, but generally speaking. Uh, if you are wanting to provide liquidity on PHLP or on, on fame, uh, you're basically, uh, betting that the traders are going to lose. Right. Uh, and I would say that most of the time these traders, uh, are going to be happy to lose. Right. Because, uh, as a, uh, as a person that is long Richard Hart coins naturally, because I have so many of them, um, for me, it would make sense for me to open up a hedge hedge positions, right? So I can, uh, I can use high leverage to kind of protect myself to the downside. Uh, and I can naturally just short things, um, in case, uh, you know, cause obviously I don't want to sell my rich heart coins, right? Um, like I don't want to do that right now, right? The we're at the bottom. Okay. Um, however, uh, if, uh, you know, the prices start to go astray or if there's some sort of unexpected news event, I can just have a short open, um, and kind of pay that insurance premium, right? Uh, and I'd be happy, happy to be liquidated in, in that case where, you know, the price does move against me and then I make uh, money on the back end, right? Um, and I'm only just using a small portion of my stacks, right? So uh, with that being said, uh, when these traders do lose, obviously the PHLP pool grows in assets, okay? So if all else remains equal, meaning if the market goes sideways um, and traders are, uh, you know, paying fees, um, positions are getting liquidated, uh, or they're just holding open low leveraged, uh, positions for months on end, right? They're paying an hourly rate. Okay. Um, then naturally the PHLP, uh, token price, uh, which we can see here. Um, let's see. So PHLP, so you can see the price of PHLP, meaning all of the underlying assets. Uh, it's about a dollar right now. Okay. So if all things remain equal, uh, meaning, you know, like I said earlier, if the assets don't move up in price or move down in price and, and the traders are losing, naturally, you're going to have more assets per PHLP token, which means the price will go up against, um, you know, anything else. Okay. Um, but essentially, it's like a, a nice uh, index portfolio that you have um, to kind of ride uh, in the, the sideways markets, the up markets, if you wanted. Um, or in the down markets, okay? Uh, hey, Dylan, can I just jump in quickly? Sure, yeah. Yeah, uh, so probably before you go into these, this level of detail on something, you want to probably just start off uh, at, a, at a more high level. If you go to the Earn tab, um, so we have two we have two tokens in this protocol. Yep. Uh, the first is, and the protocol's name is Fame. Um, the, the, the first token is called the Fame token, and the second token is the PHLP token. The Fame token is a uh, token that represents uh, basically something that earns around 40% of the fees of the protocol. Uh, and the other 60% of uh, the, uh, the fees go to the PHLP token. There's a, there's, there's, there's a big difference, though, between them. Uh, the PHLP token takes the risk of the traders, right? So it's basically betting against the traders, something to keep in mind, whereas the Fame token um, just collects fees. So its risk is that fees go up or down on, on average, whereas uh, the PHLP token uh, is is there basically acting as the house uh, betting betting against everybody. Um, so there's there, there are two different ways to get involved, um, <clears throat> and um, you know you, you have you have the option to do either. Um, now with the PHLP token, uh, what Dylan was explaining was that it's a uh, it's sort of like an index token. Uh, that earns uh, income, uh, and that income is coming from pe people trading. Um, but it's it's basically going to consist of all those coins, uh, which he showed you on the dashboard there. Uh, whereas the Fame token, 
there's no there's no LP behind it. It's literally just uh, you know clipping a ticket every time there's a transaction. Um, so um, that's that's probably the, that's probably the first thing that you want to understand. So you can you can do both bets or one bet or neither of the bets. You can also then uh, decide I don't want to be the house. I just want to be a trader. In which case you can go to the trade screen um, and put on a trade, right? So if you go here, uh, if you want to go long, um, maybe this is also a good place to start, Dylan. Is uh, you know you, you you take a long position on hex, let's say, um, in the top right there. Yeah. Um, you're creating you're creating a fee uh, when you do that when you open that. Part of that fee is going to the the fame token holder, and part of that fee is going to the PHLP providers, right? Um, so what what's great about this platform and why it's better than a casino or Binance or something like that is that you actually get to pick any side or multiple sides of the bets at, at any given point in time, uh, which makes it fair, um, right? When you go to the casino, they won't let you go stand where the dealer stands, right? You know, when you play blackjack. And, and the reason why is that the house has a slight advantage, right? Um, <clears throat> whereas here, you, you, you get to be the house if you want. That's really cool. So just to be clear, guys, uh, to mint the PLP token, right? You gotta you can put up any one of those coins: Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X, yep. Rap Bitcoin, Rap ETH, uh, or rap, any Rap stable coin. And it only has to be one, you know, not all of them. And that'll that'll get you PHLP, which will, if staked, get you the other sixty percent of the trading fees. Forty percent go to Fame holders. Sixty percent go to PHLP people. That you're basically letting people trade in and out with your money. Um, and also betting on the fact, like Dylan said, that they're probably going to lose and generate you fees in the pro in the process. Um, so Papa wants to know, can PHL does PHLP have a maximum supply? I think it, it'd be no. It is elastic. Yeah. So as the uh, assets, so as the deposits grow, the PHLP supply will grow. Right. Um, we we and, do have and, we do have limits though. Um, you know, so we uh, currently would probably with the current liquidity in Pulse Chain uh it, this thing would probably top out around 10 20 million dollars would be my would be my guess um but if the liquidity of pulse chain increases uh that that supply uh can can uh, we can adjust that supply upwards uh but one one of the reasons we do that is to stop uh let's say someone like godwell from nuking um you know the hex price and and base with a short and uh taking all of the uh lp uh, yep. If he does that here, he's going to hurt himself a lot more than he hurts us. Um, so, right. uh, so, so we do have uh, limits on it for that reason. Um, so there's a limit there, on the individual amount that someone can put in, but the actual supply tech probably has no limit. N well, no, no, no. Uh, there, there is. Uh, if you go to, uh, I think dashboard, um, you'll see. Uh, actually, you go to provide L provide LP. Or provide PHLP. Uh, yeah, hit that one. Um, you'll see availability there in the bottom. Um, so that 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 shows you what. Oh, I see. Thing. Yeah, um, but that that is elastic in the sense that as pulse chain becomes more liquid, um, we we bump those numbers up. Right? That's good. So, yeah, that's I see what you mean. You want to be safe, and you don't want one mega whale. I mean, like even the sacrifice wallet. Obviously, why would they? But um, could buy up all that and just nuke yeah. everything if you want to talk about imaginary horribles yeah, yeah well i mean why not let's do it if if richard wants to nuke um you know pulse chain he can and uh, <laughs> we'll, 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 be, we'll be screwed and you know like that that's that that's a possibility but it's not something that i worry about too much i worry about other stuff more um right uh yeah and, and in in the investment world like things that are such small probabilities like you you, you pretty much just have to assume they don't happen you know like you know you don't you, you don't make a, your your investments assuming nuclear war is coming yeah right it, it just it doesn't it doesn't work because if you if you think like that you'll never invest right um and uh a lot of think people do think like that apparently yeah a lot of people do think like that but you know the the reality is you have to you have to look at the probabilities and yeah. sort of invest with where with where you think it you know things are so you know that could be something like well i've got a 20 percent chance that things are really good and a 30 percent chance that they're okay and you know maybe a 40 percent chance that you know or a 20 percent chance that the things are bad 
And then like, you know, the 1% that things are terrible, awful, you know, like you, you just don't invest with that in mind. Yeah. Um, I mean, we got bigger fish to fry at that point, you know? Yeah. Tons pre- of ammo. Precisely. Yep. So Dylan's brought up uh, fiat.io. Um, you, what are you doing? You borrowing some hex? I'm borrowing some hex because I don't have any, sir. So is this like I want to go long. Long. I want to long some hex right now, right? On, on stream, I feel lucky. Okay. I want to. <laughs> are you doing some kind of a cross-platform strategy here, or are you just long and hex on? Uh... So yeah. what I'm doing? All right. So I have my deposits on on uh, on fiat. Okay. Um, and I don't have any hex, right? But I need hex because I want to go long on fame, right? I want to yeah. do uh, a high leverage long. Okay. So basically, all I've done is since I don't have hex, I need to borrow some. I want some exposure. So I borrowed 5,000 hex, right? Now that is in my wallet. I can do whatever I want with it, but I'm going to go to fame now. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to go long. Uh, let's do long. And, and, and Dylan, if I could just say, this is super useful audience uh, because you don't always have the coin that you want to trade in your wallet at a given point in time. Like yeah. maybe you keep your hex in a totally different wallet, right? Uh, it's annoying to have to go buy it on, a, on an exchange uh, potentially to just make a trade. Um, and maybe you don't even want the exposure, um, you know, by buying it. Um, so instead, you can just borrow whatever you need to trade against the assets that you actually do do want to own. Uh, let's say, you know, you, you prefer being in PulseX and stable coins right now, but you want to make a, a hex long here. Um, you know, you can go you can go right over to uh, fiat.io and borrow uh, whatever the coin is uh, that that you want to uh, trade. Uh, go ahead, Dylan. Yeah, so uh, I've just now opened my long hex or my my long position on hex. Uh, I went max bidding, so thirty x long. Um, I used five thousand hex, and it should open here in uh, just a, a couple of seconds here. Does it tell you where does it tell you your liquidation price? Oh, there it is, point oh oh six. That's hold on, it hasn't uh, populated yet, sir. It's uh, opening my position currently. So uh, these things take time, right? Uh, it doesn't happen uh, immediately like on, say, BitMEX or Binance or Bybit, right? Uh, this is on DeFi. Uh, there is TWAPs that, uh, that take into account the price um, and kind of smooth everything out. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it takes time to open this stuff, guys. Okay. Well, it's not so much that it takes time. It's that we're, uh, we're designing this thing in a way so that you, don't, you can't game it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, we, I mean, think about it. An extreme we, can make it. we can make it every ten seconds with the block, right, and all that stuff. But you know, we're uh, we've spent all we spent many months thinking about you know all the all the shitty things people can try and do, and uh, you know we we've come up with ways to stop uh, pretty much everything that we can think of. Um, and we audited this thing twice. We spent a hundred thousand uh, dollars auditing it at least. Uh, you know, and. Uh, it, it, there, there's something to be said about, um, you know, DeFi. Th- this is a decentralized protocol, but with with things like this, there are, there are absolutely elements of centralization. You you, you need to kind of trust that the team uh, has thought things through. If if someone just goes and forks this thing uh, without putting any thought into it, um, you know, God help you. Uh, I can I can say that much. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely not as straightforward as, um, you know, copy and pasting. Um, and you saw that, uh, somebody tried to, you know, write, uh, to, 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 to front run us with another one. Um, and, uh, it got rug pulled <laughs> within a few hours and, um, you know, and then they tried to launch it again and, and, you know, they're, they're it looks like they're still debugging, um, and nobody trusts them. Nobody's putting any PHLP in there. Um, and that that's good because that's that's about right. If you have people that don't know what they're doing and haven't taken the time to to to, to you know do this with consideration, um, then you know uh, uh, they're not they're probably not any good. Um, and if they and if they are not willing to put enough PHLP in, then they or their their LP token in, um, that shows you that they probably aren't very serious either. Uh, we've put a half a million dollars in, just uh, into the LP to get it started. Um, we want you guys to provide LP as well. Um, but we'll put more in if we have to. But um, uh, we don't nice. want to crowd you out either, because um, well, we want that, you guys to to you know obviously that affects the yield, right? So uh, we want to we want to let everybody have the chance to you know provide PHLP if that if that's their preferred bet. 
That's awesome that this is already live and all you, so all you guys got to do is uh, flip the button. But um, also great to hear that, you know, you put so much personal investment in and you didn't hire Fiverr devs and uh, <laughs> yeah. you can see what happens if you go that route. And it's like, Fiverr devs well, doesn't you know, work. maybe, maybe I didn't rug, but my, my Fiverr dev, you know, turned, uh, turned his back on me. So these are, this, you guys are doing it the right way. And everybody, I'm going to redirect everyone to the screen again. <laughs> The, the reckless behavior that uh, Dylan is participating in right now is basically his liquidation price is like uh, 0.0001 cent below the current market price. Uh, and he basically was able to take out a thousand dollar bet on like 30 bucks of collateral that he didn't even really have because he was using some other collateral on fiat. So um, this is Max Degen. I'm highly entertained. I would like to see him get either liquidated right now or. I think it'd be hilarious if this shit just pumped to like one penny right now and you make like <laughs> 10 grand, dude. That'd be awesome. Well, so, since, I'm, since I'm all the PHLP, I would like to see it get uh, wrecked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll give my checklist a buck, huh? Because if the price goes up, uh, that's actually coming out of my pocket, Coffee. That's right. Um, so so uh, place your bets, guys. Is Zoomer going to take from Boomer or is Boomer going to take from Zoomer? It, 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 it is a little bit uh, adversarial and fun that way. Um, we uh, we actually, by the way, uh, don't if you go to ecosystem. Yeah, um, we have all of our links, man. We have all of our links. But in the bottom right there, we have one called Fight Club, um, which, uh, you know, you don't talk about Fight Club, except we're talking about Fight Club here. Um, <laughs> that 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 is going to be the new hex trading chat as far as I'm concerned, because, uh, um, you know, that that's where you, that's where we encourage people to come in and go, hey, I think it's going to zero and or I think it's going to the moon. Um, and, um, you know, people, we're, we're going to let people kind of fight each other there. And, um, yeah, somebody keeps asking this question. Can we long or short P die? Look, you, you can't put shit coins on platforms like this. You'll break your platform. Like that's just a rule in, in DeFi. Like it just doesn't work. And P die is obviously a shit coin. Um, well, regardless hold of whatever. On a second, hold on a second. I mean, yeah, yeah P die. Okay. That's, that's neither here nor there, but what, what is the qualification that you look for? For example, like, I know Hedron's way too in its infancy right now to probably be accepted for this, but what would you look for in a coin to make it strong enough to be um, applicable yeah. to this platform? Yeah, so like uh, Hedron is actually something we would like to put on there. Um, the, the the key problem is that it doesn't have a lot of liquidity after the fork. Um, yeah. So uh, so that's that's probably one. Uh, you, the 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 key limiting lim limiting thing is the amount of liquidity. Um, mm. The other thing you got to worry about is uh, who are the whales? Yeah. Right. Like if, if you think there's some malicious whale that, you know, has the ability to rug at the Vero uh, or the contract's not verified or whatever, like it just doesn't work. Um, so um, in the future, I, I would guess you're going to see a, a number of stable coins added to this, like Coast, for example. Um, and uh, I think you'll see actually PHUX added uh, to it um, uh, probably before too long, actually. Um, PHUX is really nicely... Uh, evenly distributed, um, you know, like we've, we've airdropped it to a whole bunch of people. Um, the whales in it are basically the team. So we're not too worried about ourselves, you know, like dumping and breaking anything. Um, so that's good. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's got millions of dollars of liquidity on PHUX. Uh, so th like that, 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 those are kind of the, the key things. Um, but yeah, you, you, you'd really need something really high quality. Um, you can't you can't put um, you know uh, Pulse Dogecoin or something like that on here. It just it yeah. just it'll, it'll it'll risk the platform. Um, I mean, there's always risk with these things, even even with you know Richard Hart coins, right? You know if uh, you know if if the if Guy Whale decides to you know rug hex, like that's not gonna you know be a good thing for the PHLP providers. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's just the way, that's just the way it is. But you know. What would happen in that scenario is um, basically uh, the uh, God whale would rug, the shorts would win a lot, um, but the platform would still be doing just fine. Uh, it's just the PHLP providers would end up with a whole bunch of, uh, of hacks uh, in the form of impermanent loss. And then new PHLP providers would start to provide stable coins again. Um, but um, so, yeah, so in, in that regard, like the platform's fairly bulletproof, like it, it's not going to break break. Um, but you know, that, is, that is potentially a risk out there. Uh, so you basically yeah. just need a, a good solid token with fair, a decent distribution where, you know, that there's like not some malicious whales and it's gotta be high enough liquidity in the yeah. millions and millions of dollars probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm super pumped to use this. I'm really excited to see, you know, 
what I'm thinking right now, obviously, like I'm sure a lot of you guys, um, what's going to pay better right now is, uh, is it going to be the Fux uh, liquidity pool for the fame token, or is it going to be the actual platform fees? I would imagine, you know, in the first week, probably not, but I can see fees ramping up on this. And at what, at what point do uh, does staking fame on the platform become more lucrative than liquidity providing in PHUX? And on the other hand, um, how much PHLP should I should I get? You know, I'm, I'm looking at utilization rates right now and different weights and all that. And, uh, you know, yeah. it, it's really tempting. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, supply and demand will sort of dictate it, right? Um, it's, it's hard to know ex ante uh, what, you know, what's going to be a better play. Um, I think even even still, it's going to be a matter of debate, right? So, um, you know, the fame token is uh, deflationary. It doesn't uh, it doesn't grow in size, whereas uh, the PHUX token um, is on a schedule to inflate for the next six years. Um, you know, uh, before before it uh, uh, terminates at its uh, final supply. Um, you know, PHLP. Uh, the the APRs uh, can be attractive there, but remember, people can just keep adding to the AP, uh, to the pool, uh, which pushes down the pushes uh, down the overall yield. So, I mean, I guess it it, it could be uh, a different answer, to, you know, depending on you know which day you ask. Yeah. And then I think it's also a matter of liquidity, uh, per personal preference. Um, you know, the PHLP pool uh, on average should be pretty low risk because it's it's a balanced portfolio of richer hard coins plus stable coins. So you're sort of looking at you know something less volatile on average um, than holding hex, right? Um, because because of all the stable coins, all right. But that might but that may be yielding you know um, uh, high single digit or potentially even double digit uh, yield. Um, whereas uh, you can go over to PHUX and provide LP there. Um, some of those LP pools are are uh, quite attractive um, and. Uh, you know, like the, the choice is yours, uh, really. Um, but, um, you know, I think the market will have a way of figuring out what the what the kind of appropriate um, uh, weights should be over time. Dylan showing us uh, the pH orgy pool or 4G. Um, I'm quite I'm quite proud of this one. Um, I'm, I think I'm the majority of the liquidity in the pool at the moment. Um, You're the only uh, guy that can. <laughs> This is the uh, all the all of uh, all of uh, all of Pulse chains, including PHLP. Um, I think this is pretty cool because um, this PHLP token can actually become uh, pretty liquid, uh, you know, because there'll be, I think, you know, ten million dollars of it uh, created. Uh, so, um, you know, and, and you know, if if we have any luck with Pulse chain, Pulse chain goes up, that number can increase dramatically, um, and then. We basically tie that to um, all of our uh, pH tokens. So I, over time, what that the reason I've done that is I I, I want all those tokens to become very liquid, and um, and kind of go up and down together. Um, and I think they will have high correlation with Richard Hart coins as well. But this is a way of sort of uh, bootstrapping that uh, as well. Um, so that's that's one pool on PHUX to kind of uh, look at for sure. We have a another version of this without phlp called uh the holy trinity um if you oh, don't yes. like if you don't like the phlp you can you can do that um and then uh the biggest pool is uh called pareto um uh for for buying fame so do one um that's that's the pool where you should be really buying your fame at the moment um not on uh, uh pulse x uh, <laughs> but there's only 20k in liquidity yeah like come on yeah. <laughs> Big boys like D O one need uh need to be on PHUX. Um oh, it's already seven, eight percent. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean that'll that'll jump up to that'll be like thirty percent uh come next Thursday. Yeah. Uh, it's the the gauge is being voted on currently, right? So you guys don't, can don't, don't ask me how I know. I just I just know. <laughs> don't worry, I put my votes there too. Yeah. I put um, my tiny little point one percent total allocation. So uh, yeah, so like uh, we're 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 really happy, Coffee, the, to, that we're bringing our third protocol to the community in three months, and and I think you know we've done that before. You know, a lot of other people have managed to bring uh, their their things. Um, you know, which is which is which is good too. And it's not really a knock on them, but uh, you know, I, I hope people appreciate that. You know, we've been working really hard uh, to to deliver to deliver these things, and uh, 
and kind of be a first mover on Pulse Chain. Um, well, this this could know. get really fun for people. I mean, I can imagine people doing a whole this trading is- channel, right? Like a YouTube yeah. live streaming channel, like like Buck is doing right now. You could have like, DGENs do this today, like on a regular this trading channel. Fun. Absolutely, this is yeah. super fun. And, and yeah. look, you don't have to you don't have to bet your house on it or anything like that, and you shouldn't. Um, but uh, you know, it's 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 a really good way of testing your trading in a limited way. Um, yeah. You know, you, you can go put you know the minimum bet size is ten dollars, right? You know, so um, you know you, that's like uh, one hour of working at um, you know Applebee's for most <laughs> uh, at, at, after taxes. So that like that's not going to kill anybody. Um, you you would know, right? Um, so. <laughs> So uh, I don't know what they have in the Midwest, whatever, whatever is big there. But um, we got Applebee's, bro. You have Applebee's, okay? Yeah, I was, I was gonna uh, say I've seen Midwesterners before. You look, you look like you have Applebee's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, in any case, it's it's super addictive and, and a lot of fun. Um, you know, you, 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 and and it, we're gonna have a really fun, you know, uh, culture in our chat. Um, you know, where with lots of memes and kind of. Uh, good jokes and uh, one thing uh, Dylan doesn't have yet, uh, but we have a full stats page uh, as well as a leaderboard that shows uh, you know who's who's uh, who's been trading um, and uh, oh cool uh, you know uh, like I'm currently yeah. at the, I'm, I'm currently at the bottom uh, it's not linked on that yet it's oh, okay. a, I don't know, did I give you the link Dylan I don't, I don't know if I did uh, uh, let me go find it I think it's in chat keep talking I'll, I'll find yeah, it yeah. this is what Big, Big Mike had that too right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, that's probably something that we need to build out more still. Um, that's in its infancy, but it's not something that we need to go live. Dude, do you uh, remember the troll box? Oh, yeah. yeah. Box. Hell yeah. So uh, was- yeah, troll box is uh, going to be our uh, is is our uh, fight club uh, telegram. Um, nice. but yeah, maybe we, maybe we need to figure out a way to like uh, kind of make that like more. Clear. Yeah, like a little mini yeah. like uh, telegram. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to the boys about that because I think that'd be kind of funny to have like a little uh, a link to yeah. Fight Club in the in the thing, so so that people use it more. Um, yeah, if that's possible, that'd be that'd be hilarious. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, right. things are possible. It's just you know, do I want to divert the boys? Uh, yeah, I you know, get it. Or, you know, from whatever they're doing to to do that. So, um, yeah. yeah th- th- so here's the stats page. So um, you know, if you've seen the the GMX stats page, you'll see it's pretty similar, but. This is going to show you uh, all the fees and um, you know how much uh, like what how, how it's broken down. So you know people adding and removing PHLP creates fees. People trading creates fees. Um, you'll see the composition of things. Uh, the, there's not a lot of stats yet because uh, obviously there's only seven wallets using it uh, so far. But um, this will start to come to, come to life in a, in a much bigger way. Um, <laughs> we're all terrible traders like this. <laughs> yeah, Wait, one guy's up like a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I think that was uh, me the other day. Yeah, I oh, made sixty-eight yeah. bucks. <laughs> nice. I, I've only lost so far, so um, yeah. Um, I, I put a I put a big short on PulseX, and, and, it, and it like finally went up for the first time ever. <laughs> Thank um, you for making the bottom on that. Yeah, I made the bottom on PulseX, um, and then uh, and then I put a long on PulseX, and it went right back down. Um, so, <laughs> That, that's literally how it goes every fucking time. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so uh, yeah. So the trader, the traders have been losing so far. Um, and then uh, if you go to the very top, I think Dylan, um, there should be. Uh, I can't see it so well, but uh, what are you trader, looking for? Top, top right. There's a very top right. There's a little button that says traders. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm click uh, this. I don't know what it does. Okay. Well, we'll find out. So um, this isn't there pretty yet, but it but it's showing you basically just uh, the P and L of addresses mm-hmm. um, and um, uh, you know the top volume. Uh, so would you, you recognize your thing? And then if you look on the right, Dylan, it'll show you how much you've made or lost. Very cool. Yeah, um, I want so I like want nicknames. Yeah, so we're gonna have we're gonna have nicknames or ETH names and you know um, you know things like that. But uh, that's just the start of something that we'll be able to work on now that uh, uh, we've we've uh, we're launching the protocol, um, and and that'll kind of have a bit of the social thing about it because a lot of these addresses are uh, kind of public or well known from Fatty or something like that. Um, so it'll be pretty it'll be pretty fun to watch and see who, who's uh, you know making a ton of money or losing their ass. 
um you know <laughs> so yeah this is gonna be great man thanks again for putting all your upfront money time and energy into this because um you know not a lot of people would do that right you didn't really raise i mean i guess there was a raise but that actually ended up saving me money right like i was yeah to, uh, <laughs> so, so i just you know I do want to just say thanks for for making me so much money in the past in this shitty shitty bear market. So yeah, I mean, I'm super pleased about that. Uh, like pretty much everybody that sacrificed uh, is is up, and and if they sacrifice things like Pulse or PulseX, they're 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 up many multiples uh, on what would have happened. So obviously, everything that uh, you know we do is tied to Richard Hart coins. Uh, so to still be you know positive when things are so terrible uh is is a big win for you guys uh so congratulations to those of you that sacrificed uh if you sacrifice for fiat it's like really amazing uh you really outperform the market um because i think when we did the sacrifice for fiat hex price was like 18 cents yeah right and so, Buck, uh just just a reminder did if you sacrificed for fiat and you didn't sacrifice for, for fame did you get free tokens uh, you sure you sure got some free tokens so five percent of the fame supply uh, went to the fiat sacrifice set uh, just as a as a sort of thank you uh, for their early support. Um, so yeah, I get a lot of really nice DMs from people who are very happy with us. Um, I'm I'm sure uh, Gerardo gets as many d nice DMs as well um, from, from, from happy people. Um, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that that that's kind of the, the way it is. Right, so quick question: Did this uh, did this launch on ETH too, or is it Pulse Chain only? Uh, this really doesn't work on ETH just because ETH is so uh, expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's cost prohibitive. Otherwise someone else would have done it before us. Right. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, it, you, you want it to be on something kind of uh, like that, like, like an Arbitrum or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting, right? Cause you got the fiat on both Ethereum and pulse chain. Obviously people are valuing pulse chain one way better because it's just, it doesn't really, I mean, the, the fees just mess up a lot of stuff over on Ethereum. They just don't really yeah. make. Well, yeah. you know, there's there's options there though, like uh, L twos and things like that. Um, but um, yeah, like uh, don't have any expectation uh, of that uh, from us. Um, like we've we've literally just given up a year of our life uh, and focused it entirely on on these three things. Um, so, I hope it's uh, rewarding for you guys too, as the team as well, because. Um, I don't yeah. know if there's team allocations. Eventually, this will get popular. And I mean, in the bull, it's going to be fucking chaos in a good way. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, you know, like we're we're fine. We're we're happy. But um, you know, I think um, you know, the main thing is like the community needs to uh, pull itself together and uh, and make it to the bull run, right? <laughs> I think that's <laughs> that's that's kind of that's kind of job one. Just kind of um, yeah, well, Richard. Uh, Richard, obviously, you know, we don't know what's really going on with him so well. Um, you know, like it's, it's been a tough year, uh, and, and, you know, I've got to keep the boys motivated and, you know, like, no, 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 like literally, you know, these people are serious. Like this thing isn't going away. You know, I have to explain to them, uh, you know, pretty regularly. Oh no, we're uh, fanatics, dude. We're not going yeah. anywhere. I mean, like if, if the SEC and the 99.9% .9 dip can't shake us, like we, we are delusional enough to make this work. I mean, it, we are, we are that level crazy. So, uh, yeah, we're still here. Right. And, we're, and what, I, what I do like about this platform is it, it brings people's focus and attention back to the, the the main Richard Hart coins, right? Where it, it actually kind of, I mean, it's from one one form of degening to another, right? But all this <laughs> shit coinery, it kind of refocuses people on, okay, guys, remember Hex, remember staking, remember like Pulse Chain and Pulse X. Uh, you know, that that's ultimately where if I do any of these, you know, crazy risky things, they all feed back into those three bags for me personally, right? I, I haven't really seen anybody get super rich on random meme coins, except for that lucky guy or two on SHIB, right? But you know, yeah, well, that, that that lucky guy is probably an insider. Is the thing that people don't realize, right? Um, you know, like that's the thing about meme coins is um, there'll always be some guy that's on Twitter going, "Oh, look, I made a ton of money. I'm so amazing." But like that guy's probably part of the insiders that originated the the meme coin scam, right? So when you when you make those bets on meme coins, you're really just rewarding um, you know the guys that originated the scam. Right. Yeah. And they're the same guys that are going to basically sell on you. Um, like I was looking at a lot of the, the kind of meme coins earlier uh, today on Dex Creator. And like everybody that bought that, those things is basically at a loss. Right. <laughs> you know, like and, yeah. and the people that, are, that did make money off of it, it's not impressive. Right. 
you know, it's not real grown up money. So, yeah, I do agree with you that this is exciting uh, in that, you know, we're going to start talking about trading, you know, hex again. We're going to start, start talking about, you know, what if PulseX is bottomed? You know, we can all agree PulseX has dropped a ton. Um, you know, so what if it starts to retrace some of that? You know, is there is there an opportunity in PulseX today? You know, I, I would argue that at some point there's going to be a very big opportunity in PulseX. You know, like so it's 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 a question worth asking yourself. Um and uh and yeah, you can do that here. And and also another thing is um you can you can trade uh Bitcoin and Ethereum here as well. Um, you know, I know you can do that in a lot of other places, but it's nice that you don't have to leave Pulse Chain now to do it either. Uh so um, you know, like that's that's you know, one example. What's going on with your chart there? There you go. Um so, uh, you know, that's one example of something that you can do uh, now on Pulse Chain um, without having to go back to Ethereum or whatnot. Um, so this is a really amazing protocol for having all of the different um, kind of major Richard Harcoins, but also those blue chips from Ethereum um, all in one place. And, you know, you can do interesting things like you can go, look, I'm going to, you know, I think I like Richard Harcoins right now. This, this is actually probably a real trade for me. Right now, I like Richard Harcoins, but maybe I'm a little bit overall bearish uh, short term on the markets, right? So um, you know, I could basically put a short on ETH and a, and and put a put a put a, a, a smaller long on Richard Harcoins, right? And that that becomes a, a pair trade where I think Richard Harcoins outperform Ethereum, let's say, um, over over the short term. So you can do kind of interesting stuff that way. Um, and that's not actually super risky from a market uh, risk standpoint, because yeah, the, well, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, one random thought I had was that uh, you know with, with Pulse X right now being at negative ninety percent, I don't know. I'm I'm like debating in my head, literally thinking out loud. Do I go two X long on it right now with like a good chunk of Pulse X because that elasticity, right? That rubber band could snap back to 0.001 and then I can make triple, right? Because you include your principal. Um, if you guys understand what I'm talking about in the chat, you know, if you know, you know, but if you don't just don't touch it, <laughs> I mean, right. I mean, a two X long on Pulse X right now doesn't seem that crazy. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, uh, I've, I've been, I've been trying to pick a bottom on Pulse X for a while. Um, <laughs> the problem is if you go around, if you go around picking bottoms, your uh, fingers are going to smell. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well said. RH United Many giving the community, giving the common person a chance to feel unstoppable. So there motivational, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, man. What what did we miss here, guys? Well, one point I wanted to make, I think I've told you before, but it's good to remind the audience. Um, these platforms are very profitable. If you look at the richest people in crypto, uh, there are people that control platforms like this. Examples would be like, you know, BitMEX. Or Binance, uh, but those are CFI, right? Um, and uh, you know, so this sort of solution was coming to Pulse Chain regardless of whether or not we did it. So even if you're if if you don't like you know leverage trading, um, you're going to want a safe place for people to do it. Um, and it's better to be owned by the community, which that which is absolutely the case here. Uh, so you know, we're you know low single digit owners. Of, of this protocol, um, the community is gonna own this and benefit from it. <clears throat> and so that's really important because you don't want, you know, some guy like Justin Sun or whatever, you know, who owns exchanges becoming a massive whale and pulse chain, you know, through through trade churning, uh, trading profits. It's, it's, it's much better if that's just redistributed through the community. Um, so that, that's, that's, that's also one of the reasons why we, we love this protocol because uh, it really lets everybody participate in it however they want. So you can buy that fame token, you can provide that PHLP token and bet against uh, the traders. Um, you can be the trader or you can be a combination of all things. Um, so, I mean, I'll be providing PHLP, I'll be staking fame um, and I'll be putting on trades uh, when I when I think uh, I wanna manage risk. Hey, um, so in, within the PHLP token itself, I know uh, like on Aave or on Fiat, um, you know, you leave the coins on there and you get paid a small fee just for, you know, having them exist in the pool automatically. Uh, it's not like you click a button or anything, but when you, yeah, when you deposit coins into the PHLP coin and you get PHLP in return, 
um you're basically you're, you're basically just your returns are coming from the, the php price going up right you're not getting uh any apy or are you it's well, the the APY is built, uh, you go ahead Dilk. yeah yeah so it's the redeemability of the tokens themselves yeah. right so like i said earlier all things remain equal um, like let's say the market goes sideways forever. Like let's say everything turns into a stable coin, right? And people are trading, they're betting, uh, you know, people are getting liquidated, whatever. What happens is the assets grow, but the PHLP supply stays the same. So that means that the, the price of PHLP goes up, which means you'll be able to redeem more stuff with your coins, right? So, uh, that's, that's basically your yield. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, that didn't make sense to me, but uh, the way I would explain it is all of the trading activity, everything that's happening on the platform is Try. basically creating fees that are going into the PHLP pool, right? So it's growing just like any LP pool that you use, not on PulseX V1, Dylan, remind me, <laughs> um, maybe maybe on PulseX V2, but like uh, on, on most LP pools, either there, there's a thing where you buy and you you, you, you swap and you get an LP fee uh, yep. for providing LP. Um, but I don't think that's actually the case on Pulse XV1. I'm just trying to remember, True. Dylan. Am I right, am I right about that? No, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, no. That's why I have V2. V2, you have fees. Yeah. Flawless so, operation. Yeah, so Pulse XV1 is sort of an innovation in that sense in where it's, you know, uh, uh, fee -less. Only buy and burn. Yeah, right. feel it swapping. Um, but <clears throat> in any case, most normal LP pools are going to provide, uh, you know, all those fees kind of go in there. And the stats page, which Dylan was showing you, will will really illustrate that. Um, so over time, the, the PHLP providers, they just get richer and richer in the underlying uh, coins in the PHLP pool that basically accrue. Um, and the fame stakers get paid out in uh, PHLP as well uh as as those fees accrue uh for them um so it's uh it's quite nice and then you can either do one of two things you can go and trade your phlp on phux uh if you want to swap it for something else or you can actually manually withdraw uh the coins uh out uh if if that's what you prefer to do um so you have you have both options um so um you know i i'll probably just be somebody that uh, takes my PHLP tokens and swaps them on PHUX uh, because that's to me that's faster, right? You know, like I can just you know rather rather than go through you know well I want to pull out hex and or you know and, and if I if I want to go from PHLP to let's say fiat token you know it's a lot easier just to go swap it. Um, but um, but yeah, you you have you have both choices. Gotcha, gotcha. And then so. Um coming up in an hour but i want to ask about the logo is that a real picture of you buck uh look i wish i were that handsome <laughs> it's uh it's yeah it's it's uh it's it's a very handsome man that's all i know what is he just like uh a play on like the lottery guy like what, yeah you... yeah yeah pretty much um we uh it, we basically uh Years ago, um, I, I noticed that uh, people really liked attractive people in your in your avatars, and um, and I was treated really badly by the admins in the hex trading chat. So I so I literally just so I literally just put the uh, picture of a male model as my PFP, and I instantly got treated better by everybody. Um, not really thinking anything of it. This this wasn't when like you know I thought we were all gonna like be best friends forever, and you know <laughs> like like this was just being anonymous on Telegram, right? Yeah. Um, but it became sort of my identity, and then um, <clears throat> when I got into the game of um, making uh, uh, protocols for Pulse Chain, um, the, you know the people that knew me started making fun of me. And comparing me to Charles Ponzi, <laughs> yes, because it's okay, they, it's okay to be transracial or, or trans hot. Yeah, <laughs> you can be uh, well, yeah, Charles Ponzi's Polish, but uh, so they so they photoshopped um, that male model's face onto Charles Ponzi, Charles <laughs> Ponzi's uh, image, and Charles Ponzi was very well dressed uh, back in the twenties when he was running his Ponzi, um, because of, he, he was. Uh, does this sound familiar? He like. 
he liked to kind of you know uh, wear fancy clothes and promise people uh, eat caviar uh, with gold flakes in it yeah <laughs> yeah um <laughs> I don't know if you believe in reincarnation, but uh, yeah, <laughs> you think Ponzi knew that he was gonna be known for like that? I mean, what was he thinking? Did he think it could just go on forever? Like the music I, he was, uh, yeah, his business model was viable. He just never did it. You know, he just never arbitraged the stamps uh, over the Atlantic. Oh, he know? just told people, right? He he just never did the thing. Yeah, okay. he never did the arbitrage, which at the time was profitable. He just never did it. Well, I mean, yeah. same goes for Madoff. Actually, Madoff never actually traded either. It was basically. <laughs> It was basically just uh, fraudulent accounting for 20 years. Um, but, um, yeah, so Ponzi, I mean, these guys, oftentimes uh, they start out legitimate and then something goes wrong, so then they have to they have to make stuff up. Um, but, you know, a lot of these guys just assume, well, they can run with it for a few years and they'll deal with the consequences later. Um, that's that's kind of what they're that's kind of what they're thinking. Uh, Madoff turned himself in, by the way. Like, you know, if he'd probably held on a little bit longer, he might have recovered um, uh, fr from the uh, from the financial crisis. And he might still be managing money today. It's actually an interesting one. But yeah, he, getting made, himself, he made himself an outstanding re reputation, didn't he? He had a clearinghouse and all that stuff. Oh, no, no. The guy was a scion of, um, you know, uh, you know, hedge funds and wealth management for like uh, really global uh, elderly Jewish people um, uh, up and down the East Coast. Mm. Right. Like from, you know, uh, Manhattan down to uh, uh, Palm Beach, Florida. I mean, he was he was um, you know, just a hero of uh, that community um, and he was uh, absolutely betraying them. Uh, so, um, yeah, there's a lot of good lessons there. But, yeah, back to the logo. So they photoshopped my face onto that and then rather, you know, which is sort of an insult uh, to me. But then I just decided to run with it. And I was like, you kind of <laughs> look like the Monopoly man. Um <laughs> Because they're, you know, the Monopoly was made in the 20s as well. Um, you know, it's it's it's, it's actually uh, Atlantic City, um, you know, uh, as a map, if you will. Um, and uh, so I thought, okay, let me let me run with this. So um, so that that's how we created the the persona, um, and I quite like it. I like it too. It's, it seems yeah. like a trustworthy. That's a guy I can trust right there on that logo. <laughs> you, you, that's you the guy when I look at it, I say, let me give that guy all my money. Yep. I think yeah. so too. <laughs> Good shit, man. Oh, you had the telegram. Uh, oh, I don't know if we're referring to the same telegram, but I, I, I was laughing at the back and forth between, uh, you know, a certain someone the other day. It's fun in there, guys. Get into the telegram chats. Oh, yes. If you guys want oh, to know what's really going on. Speaking of the best telegram chats, make sure you go to uh, t.me forward slash fiat fame fucks. Okay. Go to that chat, right? That's the that's the uh, that's the trading chat. That's where that's, that's where the real alpha is, guys. That's where the real alpha is. That's where the shit goes down. Okay. And you can and you can talk shit and um, you know share memes and um, you know have have a have a good time. There you go. So, it's not run by Nazis either. Yes. Yeah. There's no, well, there might be one Nazi in there. I don't know, but um, he's not. <laughs> he, he's a very polite one. Um, I, I'm but, speaking uh, metaphorically. Sorry. Metaphorically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah. In general, everybody in there is uh, you know going to be okay with different opinions and things like that yeah i just don't know why you had to name it fox dude i'm, I'm gonna get demonetized one of these days and it's gonna be your fault so <laughs> phux man oh you're right yeah. now you know yeah. when i get demonetized i'll i'll be financially i'll be doing fine I uh, send us the money. Uh, yeah <laughs> fucks all day yeah and so i'm actually looking at uh well i should probably say I like this the phux at night I've got a good strategy in mind, and it seems so obvious to me that it's it's just hurts. But I'm not going to tell anybody because I'm going to go do it right after the stream. There you go. Don't share the elf until you've done it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've already done. It, yeah, but <laughs> you guys can think for yourself out there, guys. Or you don't have to use this at all. Um, oh, I like that it says buy hex on Fox or, or borrow on Fiat. You yeah, got check links that out. Right? All your stuff. Yeah, yeah that's cool. like this. It goes right to the right to the site, uh, yeah, and I and I can go nice. right to. No, exactly. And limit orders. Limit orders are cool. Oh, yeah. We didn't even talk about that. Yeah. So you have limit orders here, guys. Um, you can set them at whatever price you want, right? I don't have enough hex to open one. Uh, or actually, maybe I do if I set the price low enough. Or and FYI, enough. a one X long is kind of like you're only risking exactly what you're putting up. So it's, it's kind of as, sim as close as you're going to get to a market order. 
yeah. you're, you're trading perpetuals. So just know that this is not the same. You're not actually, you don't own the coins that you buy technically. They're only owned by your collateral kind of. Yeah, yeah. so the way that works, uh, as long as there is liquidity on the platform, you can open a position of, of that particular size, right? So let's say you're going 5X long with uh, $50, right? So you got um, you know, $250 position or something like this, okay? As long as there's liquidity for you to open up that $250 position, you can open up that position, okay? Um, now, if it's maxed out and everybody's using it, you got to wait. You know, you got to wait for somebody else to close their position or uh, get stomped out, whatever it is, or somebody has to add liquidity, right? Um, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, and uh, yeah, exactly. Don't come to the PH telegrams being sensitive. Yeah, good, good, uh, good, good point. But yeah, so limit orders, pretty straightforward. Uh, you enter in your mark price, which is down here. Uh, I'm sure you guys have used this at some point on some sort of centralized exchange uh, or on Matcha even, right? Uh, works in a similar way. You put your your uh, principal. This will be your total position size. Um, and then you enable orders. It's going to prompt you with a, uh, like, uh, a transaction to actually allow you to open limit orders. Um, and then you'll come up with another transaction to actually execute the order. And then it'll say uh, right under this tab, it'll stay there until it's filled or until you close it. All right. And as the market drops down in price, right, because I'm wanting to buy at a lower price, it'll fill your limit order. Okay. Now, in, a, in cases of extreme volatility, it may not execute at your specific price. All right. So like scam wicks, you know, don't count on those being filled. Um, you know, it's similar to all the other DeFi limit orders. Um, takes time to fill these things. Uh, you're not going to get super lucky, uh, especially on Scamwix, but you know, uh, you can leave them overnight and if the market permits, uh, you, your shit can fill. Right. Uh, and then there is triggers. So if I have my position here, if I go to edit, uh, let's see here. Hold on. I got to go. It's kind of like a stop loss or a take profit, right? Yeah. So I can hold on. A trigger would be like there we go trigger so i can trigger my my position to close at a certain price to uh protect against the downside or to close at a profit like so if i go to sleep right and i want to close at a certain price to kind of lock in something um i can set a trigger to 10 percent over uh the the mark price so on spot if hex went up 10 percent, i'd close and i'd lock in that profit on my leverage play OK, uh, and if I want to make sure that I don't get liquidated, uh, I can set a trigger, you know, just above my stop loss uh, or I'm sorry, my liquidation price and kind of have like a stop loss in place. OK, so you have all those tools, um, you know, you're uh, at your disposal, guys. OK, uh, very powerful, very useful, especially when you're trading. So, uh, but yeah. Good stuff. Hey, guys, we're at an hour. So, um Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for covering all this stuff. I think we kind of covered the, a full demo of the complete platform. You guys got to taste the entire suite of products. If you're brand new and you don't already know about PHUX, Fiat, Famous, you got to check out all these, all right? But there's going to be links on every single platform to every other uh, tool, right? And especially Fatty as well, just for total beginners. If you want to track your portfolio, start with P-H-A-T-T-Y.io. Um, guys, smash the likes and don't forget to subscribe. Is there anything you guys want to... Uh, say before we head off. Uh, thanks for having us on, Coffee. Uh, we always enjoy talking to you, sir. All right, Buck, we good? I'll take that as a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like uh, sounds like everything's fine. Hey, guys, if you're just getting here right now, I see a lot of people came late. Just watch the replay and uh, get excited for this. Potentially tomorrow. I don't know if I can officially. I don't know if I can yeah. officially say. Could be, it could be sooner. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll warn you. <laughs> okay. I guess yeah. I'm pulling it all nighter tomorrow. All <laughs> right. Here we go. Yeah. So. Well, I'm not telling you my alpha, boys, but good luck out there.